The forests of the Triassic period were populated by a number of gliding reptiles, these included Long Esquama, Hyperonectar, Quiosaurus, and Icarosaurus. Long Esquama, meaning long scales, was a genus of reptiles that lived during the Triassic period 235 million years ago. It was a small animal, reaching 15 centimeters in length. Fossil remains have been discovered in Kyrgyzstan in Central Asia. The diet is thought to have been insectivorous. Long Esquama had a lizard-like body, although its relationship with the reptile family is uncertain. Some paleontologists have considered it to be a thecodont, an obsolete term for early archosaurs. Long Esquama possessed long V-shaped scales on its back, which have been interpreted in different ways. The famous paleontologist Robert Backer believed that these scales were a display structure, perhaps to attract mates or intimidate rivals. It is also possible that they could represent an early evolutionary attempt at flight. Another idea is that they were some kind of heat exchange device. It is possible that these scales served more than one function. The scales have fine striations on the surface, which resemble the structure of feathers. This led to suggestions that long esquama is part of the evolutionary line that led to birds, although this is not accepted by the majority of paleontologists. Hyperonectar, meaning deep-tailed swimmer, was a genus of Drypanosaur reptiles from the late Triassic period. It was small in size, 15 centimeters long and was an insectivore. Several specimens of this creature have been discovered in lake deposits in New Jersey and the United States. Its body structure resemble those of Drypanosaurs, which were arboreal reptiles from Italy. Hyperonectar possessed a deep tail, which was strengthened by spines reaching downwards from the vertebrae. Its legs were long, which suggests they could have supported a gliding membrane. Fossil specimens of leg bones have not yet been discovered, which makes it hard to determine if they had the same perching toes as the Italian Drypanosaurs. The first fossil remains of Hyperonectar were thought to belong to an aquatic reptile. The reason for this was the deep finned tail, which resembled a swimming organ. Later research has revealed it was more likely a reptile that glided between trees, likely hunting insects. The tail was used as an air rudder. Kneosaurus, meaning Kness lizard, was a genus of lepidosauromorph reptiles that lived during the late Triassic period. It measured 65 centimeters in length and its diet was insectivorous. Fossil remains of this reptile have been discovered in limestone in southern England since the 1850s. During the Triassic period, this limestone formed a desert ridge full of caves and gullies. Animals became trapped in these gullies and became fossilized in rocks which were several million years older. Kneosaurus was one of these animals. This reptile possessed wings that were formed from bones that extended outwards from the sides of the body. They were articulated so that they could be folded back when not in use. Kneosaurus would have resembled the modern-day flying dragon lizard from Malaysia. Kneosaurus is thought by some paleontologists to be closely related to the Lepidosaur family of reptiles, which includes lizards, snakes and the Tuatara from New Zealand. Icarosaurus meaning Icarus lizard, was a close contemporaneous relative of Kneosaurus that lived in North America. It was much smaller than its relative, only reaching 10 centimeters. It was also an insective or like the other gliding reptiles of the Triassic. Fossil remains of Icarosaurus were discovered in 1961, in a quarry in New Jersey, in the U.S. This is in fact the only fossil specimen yet discovered of this species. The remains consist of the front part of the body, as well as the bones of one wing. It had a similar wing structure to Kneosaurus. The wings were supported by extensions that held a gliding membrane. Icarosaurus was named after a figure from Greek mythology, who attempted to fly with manufactured wings.